Preparation of an azo dye. We are now pouring hot water into sodium carbonate. We are now dissolving the right. sodium carbonate in hot water. Has it gone yet? Oh yeah, yes. looks like it's gone. We are now getting one gram of four amino benzoic acid. Is it one gram yet? No. No. Nearly. Nearly. We are now dissolving four amino benzoic acid into sodium carbo carbonate. No. No, we just throw it in. This, we are adding three centimeters of HCl to our solution. This is our water bath to keep our solution between 5 and 10 degrees C. We are trying to get the solution down to between 5 and 10 degrees. This is what happens in stage 1. In this solution, I dissolve 0.5 grams of sodium nitrate into 2.5 centimetres of water. I am now cooling it to 5, 10 degrees C in the water bath. This is diocytasia. Our reaction will go from 4 amino benzoic acid to form this molecule. This molecule is a diosium cell and will be formed when we mix our two solutions together. We are now adding solution what A it's doing? to solution B. It's going brown. So it stays between 5 and 10 degrees. I'm just going to mix it. Yeah, just like Yeah, it's brown. We don't want to do a shower. Here we have added the sodium hydroxide to 20 centimetres of water. We are now adding sodium carbonate. We <laughs> <laughs> next have to warm and add 0.5 grams of benzene 1,3-diol. Here we are adding 1,3-diol benzene. benzene. There we go, and Lauren's just going to mix it now. Ooh, it's gone purple. <laughs> What? This is a coupling reaction. More slowly than that. No. Put it in, Lauren. It just says it doesn't say slowly. Get it in. This is a coupling reaction, and it's forming an azo dye. Ooh, look Mix at this. Look at the lovely red colour. You may have a look on your lovely stir. Very nice. This is our azo dye. We are now going to see if we can dye this piece of cloth. Well, Lauren. <laughs> She's drawn as a smile. Lovely. <laughs> There we go.